Hello everybody and welcome to a build tutorial here. My name is Lemon Slice and today we're constructing a little fishing dock, slightly medieval style, but not so much. This is basically just a normal Minecraft fishing dock that you can put anywhere in your world if you're looking to fill up space, if you're looking to integrate your build into the shoreline a little more. This will do it a small fishing dock with a small little fishing house. Super, super minimal materials needed for this build. So we're going to jump straight into it. So guys, here are the materials you are going to need. And as I said, super minimal. You're going to have to chop down a couple trees. You know, that's about it. Get some stone. This is a super simple build and doesn't require too much work to put together. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Get your materials and we're going to start the tutorial. Also, real quick, guys, before the build, if you saw this on any of my other social medias, the roof on this house was different. It was a flatter, less complex, really boring roof, and I could not take it. I built that in one shot and didn't have a chance to fix it because obviously I was recording the video. So here is the new roof, and I hope that's okay. It's obviously a lot better than the last one. And I'm just going to be using this one for the tutorial, so I didn't want you to be confused why it changed. That's why. All right, all right, guys. So to begin your build, the first thing you're going to have to do, obviously, for this fishing dock is find a nice flat side of the shoreline and you can create one yourself. If you need to, you're going to need it to be about 12 blocks, maybe just about. So we're going to start here. Nice little area. Try and make it look as natural as you can. So here we go. Start with a chiseled stone brick right here and then grab your dark oak slabs and go 12 across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then we're gonna put another chiseled stone brick. I'm just gonna grab some grass and fill in just a little bit here, make it look a little more natural. There we go. We'll get rid of that one. All right, beautiful. And the next thing we're gonna do is go diagonal from that and put down a stone, a spruce log, two of them, okay? And same with this side over here, two spruce logs. Okay, and then we're gonna go one more spruce log and a stone brick slab on top of that. So do that on both sides. And then we're gonna take now this time our spruce slabs and go up one right here and bring it straight across like so till you connect it to the other pillar. And that will be our entrance walk up onto the dock. The next thing we are going to do guys is, oops, we are going to take this right here and we're gonna go out one, two, three and add another pillar identical to the other one now the wood count will change for you because it might be a deeper depth for you versus where mine is might be less who knows we're gonna do that both sides obviously going to do that add the pillar one two three and this pillar straight up with the stone brick slab on top now we're also going to fill this in we're going to fill this in with your slabs just like this straight across all the way and then we're just going to fill the entire thing in the middle here in okay and now guys we are going to go to our sides here and we're going to put a stone brick wall on either side and a fence gate in the middle just like that super simple design and that's going to be both sides most things are going to be both sides just like that next thing we're going to do is go right here and we're going to go wall and then three gates and another wall same thing on this side three gates another wall see we get this cool upwards and downwards strange effect that you have with the gates under these walls right here add another pillar just bring it up straight into the bottom of that wall now we're going to go to these pillars on the sides and you're going to go diagonal to it right here and then out the side one diagonal like i said now do the same thing over here just like that and add dark oak straight until whoops that's spruce dark oak until this pillar and then place it right there right on the pillar same with this side right there and then you're just going to grab it and do this just a little bit of a turn two blocks out nothing crazy at the end of this we're going to go with another pillar right here bring it all the way up over just like this with a slab on top like the other ones and then bring your walkway out here four wide and then straight out to where these pillars connect right here now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this from this pillar right here we're going to go one two three four five both sides two three four five and fill it in we will now put in even more pillars right here we're just going to toss them in right along this straight into the side and whoops that's one too high bring this one up to here and the slabs on top once again we are going to put in some pillars right here and right here you're going to bring the spruce slabs to connect them one more time and then top it off with the stone brick slabs on the top 
chiseled stone brick is going to go right here below it see simple just like that then we're going to put dark oak slabs straight across like that easy easy step right there guys next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our walls once again and put a wall here and a wall here and then three gates in the middle just like before on this side however we are not going to have that we're going to have something completely different so on this side let's go ahead and grab our slabs and right here we're going to take this one two three four five six and put one more pillar right here same thing over here grab it from right about here on this pillar as um as we did on the other side and go one two three four five six sorry could not spit that out for some reason there we go put that on the top and slabs across the back now on all of these sides we are going to put a wall right here and then connect them with as many fence gates as it takes for example on these sides four on this side three and on this side four so that's what it's going to look like right there and clearly we're going to fill it in and now to construct the fishing house we are going to put a block a uh, spruce log right here diagonal from those spruce logs right here diagonal from our pillars and we're going to bring it up three blocks tall then we're going to go along the side and we're going to leave a one two three wide gap and put another one three blocks tall same on the other side we're going to connect these with the spruce logs themselves just like this all the way around just like that so you have this little box shape for your door to go in now your door is going to go right here so we're going to fill this in with one two pieces of spruce right there and then we are going to toss a little awning just like that and you're going to pop your door if i can find it right here in here come around and pop it this way so that it is on the inside oh and it's raining we are then going to continue over to the sides guys and i know i always talk about depth but this time we don't have too much space so we are just going to be filling this in like this popping one out and grabbing a normal glass pane or whatever color glass you want to use and putting it right in there around the back guys same deal we're just going to fill this in and pop out one window and on this side repeat the same exact pattern we just did with one window now we're going to get into the roof the slightly more difficult part of this build but still not very difficult you're going to come to one of your sides start on this side and put a stair right there on that log bring it out one so now you have a stair diagonal with this log do this on all four sides just like this and this is going to be the frame for our roof that we will then connect up you can then connect these stairs together on both sides just like this and like this now we are ready to start the upward portion of the roof so upside down stair on both sides right here just like this and a block on top of that super simple step right there we're gonna put a stair on top of that facing inward so you have this got it next we are going to put another stair like this and then three slabs connecting the top and to finish this off guys we're going to put another slab on top of that and a stair sticking out and then one more slab on the very top you are going to repeat this same exact pattern on this side i will do it one more time for you just in case you missed it or you need just a little more clarification just i'm going to do it in the background right here and we're going to put upside down that and three slabs across now we're going to connect these straight down the middle like that with slabs and i don't want to forget to do this step right here perfect just like that on all the sides now what we're going to do is we're going to take the exact same things with spruce so our spruce stairs blocks and slabs and fill in the roof just like this so follow the guidelines for the stone and now we'll have slabs so it'll be block stair slab that's exactly what we want right there and the same thing on this side block right there stairs and i'm missing every placement <laughs> and the slabs there we go next guys we are going to take our spruce and fill in the roof with six blocks right there pop out one of them and replace that with a glass pane same thing on the back side over here six planks there we go just like that and then a window beautiful right there the house has been constructed now guys we will begin with the details so we are going to come right here to the end of our dock at the very back or i guess front end and we're going to go to our chiseled stone brick blocks we're going to put a wall two fences upwards like this and then two trap doors so just like that and then when you're on top of it another one like that perfect and we're going to do this for all of the lamps so oh, i completely missed 
just like this and then we're going to hang a lantern off the end of this like so and you have to crouch to do so let me just do that all right perfect that is going to be our lamp design and we're going to continue this for our other four st chiseled stone brick areas so right here two fences trap door right here two fences and a trap door and then we're just going to go like this and like this and two lanterns perfect and they're all going to be facing inwards towards the dock and then i'm just going to do it real quick and it's raining again so let's just finish this off and it's super dark sorry about that guys the dew weather cycle is now set to false don't mean for this to be a messy tutorial but that rain just does what it wants you know minecraft so last two lamps going in right here and then we're going to hang the lanterns off the edge now we have those details put in and the final details we need to add are some trap doors and some barrels for decoration guys so first trap door we're going to do come to the end of your dock and place one straight up on the dock right there go up and over two right there and place another one then we're going to go up two and over one just right there sorry about that and we are going to place one in this so break it out and place it right there diagonal from that same thing okay one up from that leave a space of one and do another one on top diagonal and one in the ground okay and then on our side here we are going to put some barrels so we're going to place one on this and then one facing up right here with a trap door in between the two of them so super simple easy step right there we're going to come down farther to this side of the dock and we're going to come out on to this side and this is where we will start we're going to have three barrels one two and three just like that to the side of this we're going to implant one into the ground a trap door and then another trap door right there next to this we're going to bring this out just two more blocks and place one right there diagonal two we're going to place one in the floor diagonal again we're going to place another one right there similar to the other side we're going to put some more barrels but this time in a different pattern so we're going to put one here and then we're going to put one here and one here and then one more trap door right in front of this barrel guys and this dock is basically fully complete so guys if you've made it this far and you've completed the dock and you're thinking you just want to add a little more something to it a little more detail there is actually a few things you could do for instance you could add more trap doors into the floor or you could take some stairs and put them in just like this and kind of break it up a little bit this is a detailing trick you could use but it might be a little too much if you don't like it um, if you think it's a little too much, then you can just get rid of it. You also could add some more life. So on top of barrels and stuff, add some flowers like this um, on top of the walls, even a couple of flowers, just like that to spice it up a little bit more. Another one over here, possibly. The last thing you could do is add some leaves. So if you want to toss some leaves on, just start sprinkling it around, start sprinkling it into the water and stuff just like that and see, you know, if you like it, if you don't, that's fine. Just a way to add a little extra detail. Try and make it look somewhat natural the way it arcs over stuff. There we go. Super, super simple stuff that can make your build a little more detailed. Now, I didn't want to include that in the actual tutorial because that's stuff that you can do on your own. Add little details in the dock, some plants, some greenery. Who knows? And then, guys, obviously, on the inside of this, you can figure out what to do. There's not a lot of space. I don't want to... It's only a three by three area, but that's okay. It's not too bad, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial on the fishing dock. And if you did, please leave a like and give me suggestions for what tutorial you want to see next. And if you built this in your world, please send me a picture on Instagram and I'll shout you out for constructing my build. But thank you so much for watching guys. Peace out.